Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over a really simple uh, getting started thing. Something that I actually always skipped when I was doing early boards, but I think it's actually a really nice touch and it's a good, good habit to get into uh, as you get started. And this is rounding corners on your PCBs. If you have ordered a board before and you've gotten one back where you squared off the corners, right, it's basically a really sharp edge. And FR4 is not exactly a soft material, and so as such, you basically have some really sharp corners. So let's take a look at how to actually go and create uh, a new PCB. So let's go and uh, I'm going to make, let's see, I'm going to do in millimeters. Let's do 100 by 100 uh, PCB size, right? So we'll make a, a really big grid here. Or sorry, we'll grab the, uh, the drawing tool, which is the polygon looking thing. We're going to select the edge cuts layer. I'm going to hit the space bar, and then it'll zero, that'll zero out down here. So wherever you, wherever you do that, it'll zero out. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw to 100 point. It's hard to see on the screen, I guess. I guess I'm going to go into the, uh, into the box there. It's not a big deal, though. The box is actually just arbitrary. So there we go, 100 by 100 by 100. I've got all our corners, and we're good to go. Now I'm going to make it a smaller grid. And what I do here usually is I go and I grab the arc tool, and then you know, if say I'm doing like a three, uh, you know, three millimeter uh, curve here, so then what I'll do is I'll zero out a space bar to zero out on that corner again. Go to three minus three minus three in this case. Click to start drawing. Right, that gives you your center point of your of your arc, and then click down here, and then the arcs actually always get drawn counterclockwise. Double click to finish. So just remember counterclockwise. Again, zero out uh, with my three, three. And we're going to go counterclockwise. Same thing here. Zero out. Click counterclockwise. And then zero out. Three, three. Counterclockwise. Oop, didn't click there. Click and counterclockwise. Okay, so now we have rounded corners, but we also have these sharp corners in there. So what I usually do now is actually I just go and grab the uh, existing ones. I'll delete them, just leave the corners. I guess I could have done that by just measuring, but I think it's good to actually have the visual reference of what you want to do here. And then I just go and finish off by drawing from these points again, right? Just connect the points together, double click, click, double click, click, double click. And finally here. And this is on the one millimeter grid, so it should be easy to kind of grab your corners there. Be sure not to go any smaller or else it'll be problematic. All right, there we go. And so now we have a 100 by 100 millimeter square board with rounded corners. You can obviously make the corners a little bit uh, more rounded if you want to. Basically, you just choose you know, a larger inlet here. So say you go to minus 5, minus 5 off that corner, and you'll, uh, you'll be, you know, just have a more rounded corner. And then basically all this stuff gets shipped off to the fab, and they will cut it out as you want to. So this is just a small usability tip, and I think really it's a nice thing for when you're making boards, especially if you have a board that your users are going to be handling at any point. I think it's really good to round off the corners there. Hopefully you find that useful. Things like this and other things we talk about with mounting holes and other you know, small checklist items that are a big piece of you know, just everyday PCB type stuff, that's what we talk about on Contextual Electronics. And if you're interested, there's courses over on contextualelectronics.com. We have a forum where we talk generally about designing electronics and PCBs and stuff like that. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. And finally, if you want to talk about features in KiCad, that's forum.kicad.info. That's all for now. We'll have more PCB tips coming up in the future. Thanks for watching.